Hey guys, so today's video is going to be something a little bit different. I haven't done a video like this on my channel for a really long time. I'm gonna be sharing with you some fashion pieces I just recently picked up, mainly from Forever 21. You guys know it's like my favorite place to shop. It's cheap and it's cute. It's not the best quality, but I feel like my sense of style is always changing and I'm always wanting to try new things. So I'd rather not spend so much money on clothes like pants and shirts. So that's why I love Forever 21. I also have a couple of things from Misguided and other stores. I'll let you know as I go, but it's mainly Forever 21. By the way, let me address the elephant in the room. Or the elephant is the room, I should say. This is my bedroom. <laughs> I was gonna film this video in my beauty room, but there's just a lot going on in my beauty room right now that I cannot cannot function in there. I actually have like nothing on the walls in this room. All my walls are bare. I have nothing on my nightstands, like a candle and like flowers. All I have is like furniture. I've been wanting to go to Home Goods to trip. What? what am I saying? This video isn't about that. I don't have like a ton of stuff to share with you, but I did want to show you the recent things I bought for spring and summer. If you guys do like this type of video, leave me a comment down below and I will definitely do more of these. Maybe I'll throw in some lookbooks every once in a while. I know I mentioned a while back that I wanted to get into fashion videos, but with the move, it just never happened. Like, as soon as I said that, I moved and crazy things have been happening. But now that I'm nice and settled, if that's something you want me to incorporate, like fashion videos, let me know. I will. Okay, I'm gonna show you the little tops I got first. I'm someone who really, really loves crop tops if I have high-waisted shorts on or a high-waisted skirt. High-waisted something. I will never wear a crop top unless I have something high-waisted because I do not like to show my stomach. Not like the whole stomach anyway. I don't mind showing like the top or a little piece of my belly button. But not even that. It's just something I don't like to show that much. But I thought this shirt would look so cute during the summertime like at the beach. I bought this at misguided.com and it doesn't say how much it was. But it says mermaid hair don't care. How cute is that? I think this would look so cute on top of a bikini with like high-waisted jean shorts. Another shirt I got from Misguided, I fell in love with this when I saw it. I feel like I need a hanger. Okay, this is a little better. Obviously, these don't go on your shoulders. These are just straps for you to hang it up. But isn't this shirt so beautiful? It's just like a regular little white crop top, very thin material. But I love that it has this around the neck. And usually I don't like shirts that have necklaces already like in them, but I thought this one was really pretty. It just looks like a simple gold choker. I thought this would be perfect for the summertime because I love wearing white in the summer, especially with gold, red lipstick, and like a pencil skirt. I think it is a really pretty top. I don't know why they don't put the prices on these things. This crop top I got at Forever 21 and it was only $8.90. And it's a really, really comfortable material. Again, one of those shirts that I think is perfect for the springtime with high-waisted jean shorts. Nice, light, distressed jean shorts. And I love the flower print. I love to wear anything floral in the spring and summer. This crop top I bought at Urban Outfitters and I don't remember how much it was, but I remember it being ridiculous. It was actually very, very, very expensive, but I've been on the hunt for something baby blue and lace for such a long time now that when I saw it on Urban Outfitters, I was like, okay, fine, I'll buy it. They also had the matching skirt on the Urban Outfitters website, but I didn't want to spend that much money on just one single outfit. So I figured I would just get the crop top and mix and match the bottom with like a nude pencil skirt or like a white skirt. I just love pastels this time of year, I couldn't resist. Oh my gosh, okay, so I got this cardigan from Forever 21. Cardigan, is that what you call these things? I have like a thousand of these. I love these, and you would think, you have 50, you don't need any more, but no, 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 I just, I keep buying them. They're my favorite thing to wear, I keep saying this time of year, but they are, they're my favorite thing to wear in the spring and summer because all I do is put on a pair of distressed jeans, a white tank top, and I bust out a chiffon cardigan thing. But the amazing thing about this one is, guys, I had been on the hunt for a white and pink floral cardigan like this since last year. Couldn't find it anywhere, but this, this year I found it at Forever 21. I love the coral tones to these flowers. I think it would look so beautiful with a peachy coral lipstick. I, I love this. It reminds me of like Matilda's teacher's cottage or like an old tablecloth from back in the day. I don't know, it's beautiful. 
Okay, so another thing apparently I can't get enough of are shirt dresses. I love buying those dresses that just look like really long shirts because I love wearing them with like gladiator sandals and a hat. And then I saw this shirt dress thing, which I don't know if they're called shirt dresses, but that's what I call them. And I fell in love with it. This is again from Forever 21 and it was $15.90. I think it's so pretty. It says realist number one. I love these long baggy black tops because I can pair it with any lip color. Is that weird? I feel like I shop for my clothes based on my makeup. I know that seems very strange, but every time I look at a top, I'm like, hmm, what lipstick would look good with that? And I feel like this is the kind of outfit that would look awesome with so many different makeup looks. How cool would this look with high over the knee boots? I'm into that, I'm totally into that. Okay, now let's talk about a dress that looks completely different from what I just showed you. I bought this specifically for the summertime because this screams summer to me. And I know that a lot of people might look at this and be like, that is hideous. You look like you're about to go make wine in a vineyard or something. I don't know. Chiquita banana status. I know, but I love this look. By the way, excuse how oily I look. I rarely ever say I look oily but I had been sweating. I've had my makeup on for a while and I had been sweating for like an hour before I filmed this video. Anyway, what I was saying, if I could put my personality or put myself into a dress, it would be this. And I don't care who thinks this is ugly, but it just like reminds me of Celia Cruz and I'm not mad at it. With the right accessories and the right hairstyle and the right makeup, I think it would look so summery and boho and beautiful. I love this. So I picked up a pair of overalls at Agassi and I freaking love overalls. Like, can I live in overalls? I wish. I got these because I thought they were such a pretty color. They're a little bit distressed here. They're a nice olive color. And they are shorts. I don't know how much this was. Wait, wait. This was $27.90. I really like these. The only thing I will say is that they fit me a little bit snug, like in my uh, bottom area right here. They're a little snug. If you have seen these at Agassi, I would recommend going a size up. But besides that, I think it's really, really cute. Oh, oh my god, okay, so I bought this for the beach. It's just kind of like a bathing suit cover-up. It has that really amazing breathable like linen material. That's perfect for on top of your bathing suit like on the beach. When I first put this on, I'm not gonna lie to you, there was something about kind of like the design here that made me feel like I kind of look like Thackeray Binks. Looking for my sister Emily. Emily! It grew on me and I think that with the right hat and the right beach, I would really like this. Okay, two more items to show you before I show you like the accessories I bought. I didn't buy many accessories. I love this jumpsuit. To me, this is the perfect summer jumpsuit. I love, 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 love navy blue. And I love how it has pink and orange flowers all over it. It's completely backless, which is awesome for the summertime. And it's such a breathable material. I got this at Forever 21. It was $22.90. So pretty for like a tropical vacation getaway and very, very comfortable to wear. The only thing is I have to kind of um, fix the pants because I'm too short for this as I always am for anything I buy at Forever 21. Whenever I buy pants there, I always have to get it fixed. I wish they had a petite section the way that Misguided does. Misguided, Nasty Gal, Topshop, there are a couple of stores that have petite sections for people that are under 5'3", and I'm 5'1 and a half, 5'2"-ish. So I always gotta be fixing them pants at Forever 21, but that's okay, so pretty. Okay, so the last piece of clothing I have is this guy right here. This is a romper. I love rompers, they're so easy, especially when it's really hot outside. It's so hot here in Miami, and when it's really hot outside, it's awesome to just throw on a romper because they're short and they're usually very fresco. I love the print on this. I am obsessed with anything that has flowers on it, like I've already said, especially red flowers. I love this. I love the green and red together. I love that it's completely backless as well. This kind of threw me off at first. I don't usually love these kinds of cuts here, but surprisingly, I really like it on this romper, but I think it's really pretty. It was $33.90 at Agassi. I love this. I got a couple of accessories. I got three necklaces and a purse. I'm really into chokers right now. I love like the gold chokers and I'm not really into the fabric chokers that much, like the black fabric, but I have a fabric one here to show you and I really love it. I got this at Forever 21. I don't exactly know how much it was, but it just looks like a strip of pink lace. It's so pretty and I thought that it wasn't gonna fit my neck, but it's long enough to where I think it would fit pretty much anyone's neck really. 
I think this would look so beautiful with like a tight white dress with your hair up in a bun. Nice dewy skin. I love this color as well. Very into it right now. I also got this necklace from Forever 21. This one was $6.90. I love the mix of black and gold. I thought this necklace was also really cool. I thought it would give like the perfect pop to any outfit, kind of spice it up a little bit. And then the last necklace I bought, I bought it at misguided.com. Again, I don't know how much this is. They don't put the prices. But this is just a really pretty gold choker. It's actually very, very skinny. At first when I got it in the mail, I was like, oh my gosh, this is not gonna fit my neck. And it just like barely fits. You just like clamp it around your neck. I think it's so beautiful. I love this purse so much. When I saw it on the Forever 21 website, I knew I had to get it. I have already used it once, so I don't have the price on it, but look at this stunner right here. How beautiful is this purse? I love fringe. I was into fringe a little bit more last summer, but I really love fringe on my purses now. It's like, I want fringe on all my purses. It's so pretty. It has kind of like a brass chain. So you can wear it cross body or you can wear it as a clutch. You can put this chain inside the purse and hold it as a clutch. My favorite thing definitely has to be the color. I think it's beautiful. I got this at Forever 21 online. I don't know if they have it in store. Really love this purse. So yeah guys, that's it. That completes this video. These are pieces I've picked up recently to update my spring and summer wardrobe. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye. But all I have in here is like furniture, like my bed. Oh my god! I saw we I hit you on the face, Potter. We used to let it down. You picked me up when I was down. What am I singing? These, this, these. A breath of someone like you. I'm sorry, Potter. <laughs> I really like these. The only thing. Close to me like my mother, close to me like And the last piece of, piece. <laughs> so the last piece of, piece, I keep saying piece. I got a couple of, Porter? Wait, don't, don't sleep with your face in the covers. That freaked me out. I feel like my brush cleaning routine is so simple. I don't use like olive oil. I don't get really technical when it comes to cleaning my brushes. The easier, the better if you know what I mean.